Hello. On today's video, we're going to talk, we're going to do a video today on a simple, simple video on shocks. Okay. Um, kindergarten shock level first, you know, but we have, I have a lot of guys that want to help understand shocks. Okay. So we're going to start at the very basics before we get started and don't tune away because I think this is going to be very good and we can create a dialogue. Okay, people. But before we do, let's let's talk a little bit about you helping me grow this channel. Okay, subscribe, like it, comment, share it, do those things. Help us to grow this channel, please. Um, it'll help us to bring you more videos. Okay, today's video is going to be shock basics 101, and I mean basic. I'm not. We're not talking about deep. This is basic shock understanding. Okay. This is a 23 series shock. Um, it's a threaded body shock. It's a steel body shock. We're using this in a crate class, in a um, some uh, crate big block modified stuff back east, center seat car type stuff, uh, crate late model racing down south, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky. Uh, you know, Crate Racing USA type 602, 604. Uh, you can get it in a rebound adjustable and a non-adjustable, okay? Basic principles, you know, shock eye. That's a shock eye. That's a calm ball. That's a seal head. That's a shaft. This shock comes with a coilover kit. This one happens to be a two and a half inch kit. It's a two and a half inch spring. Uh, you can also get this with a five inch coilover kit. Okay, this is the shock body. It, on the end of this shaft is a piston, and that piston goes up and down in the shock. Okay, when the shock goes in, that's compression. When the shock comes out, that's rebound. Okay, this this shock is not. It's a dead shock. Uh, if it had gas pressure in it, it would shaft out all the time. If you push a shock in and it stays in. It could be a twin tube shock. It could be an oil shock. Um, but most of the time, a gas shock will push the shaft out, okay? Um, this shock has a, a, a gas chamber up here where um, the divider piston separates the gas chamber. If it was to have a base valve, the base valve would be in about this area, so it would go you know, main piston, oil, base valve, divider piston, gas volume. Um, base valves are a good piece to have. Uh, it's not a base shock. It's not a base valving. It's a piston that's fixed in the tube. It stays in the tube. You can't see it, but it does make the shock function um, much better. So basic shock principles, compression, rebound, okay? Um, if you have any questions about, like I said, this was a very basic, um, get to know your shock every week. You should inspect the shafts, look for a little bit of leakage here. If the shock tends to wetten up the seal here, like you sprayed, it, like if you had sprayed it with something that collected dirt, but you didn't, that's a good indication that maybe your gas volume is a little low and it's cavitating. Cavitation is separation of the oil, uh, air in the air in, that's in the oil. It separates it, and then it wants to come out, and it'll it'll leak out or burp out slightly. Uh, so, like on your left rears, if you see a little dirt collecting around your seal head, uh, we sometimes call it a seal head, sometimes a gland. But if you see it collecting around your seal head, this could be uh, indication that your gas pressure may be a little low. Um, or it, maybe it was never really high enough to function properly, but that's that's one thing to look for. Look for rock dings, body damage, uh, compress your shock in and out like this every week. Make sure when you compress it in, feel it come out. It'll come out at a certain rate all the way. If it stutters or stops and then starts, you may have a ding in the body. So shock basic. Also, if you have a Schrader valve in your shock, which this one don't, this one has a hyper screw. But if you were to have a Schrader valve, there's a great chance that that Schrader valve will leak every week. 
Okay, Schrader valves leak, that's what they do. Uh, but if you have a Schrader valve, check your gas pressure, use the proper tools to, to check it. Use nitrogen in there, don't use compressed shop air. Uh, this is shock basic. And we'll take this to uh, part two, part three. So we'll, we'll do more and explain more of the pieces. All right, but this time, just the basics. Thank you guys, subscribe to our channel. Give us ideas on what you want to see, okay? That's how we're going to get more videos because I do struggle at understanding what you guys know and don't know. So help me out there. Subscribe to our channel, like these videos, and comment, 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 okay? Uh, we love you guys, and we appreciate your always. We'll see you next week.